Hello everyone, Eddie here. Life in the woods. It's looking a bit better out there, isn't it? I got up to fine running. That kind of worked. I tried shaders, but there's no hope for that. <laughs> Frame rates just can't cope. This is my observatory room. Not sure what I'm going to put up here yet. But it has some good views. Well, apart from that way, you see grass. Bedroom's still down here. Got a nice set of stairs. Expanded down here a little way. Sticking with the white wall frame. That's the thing I'm going to put in the enchanting room in there. This is going off this way. Which will like tie into the rest of the rooms when they appear. That snuffling noise in the back is my dog. Changed all these up now. Changed the colour on the doors. Removed the wood. Put carpenter's blocks in with the slope on them. And put on whatever this tile was. I can't remember the name of the stone now. Generally tidied it up. Made a bit of path over just a little bit of farming I got going on over here. Gives us some food and something to do. Trees are still being trees, which is not a bad thing, is it? Pumpkins and melons. Oh, I even got some sheep. Of which, one has legged it. There was a white sheep in there. Where did that one go? He's off up there, look. Sheep haven't got his ability to get away, get out of pens. Don't ask me out. I did change the bridge as well. It was originally that wide. Thought no, too chunky. I'll make it wider, and it has definitely benefited from it. Removed bits, added bits. Put solid beams going across it now. So if you have a look up the side, not the best place to see it. From go out in the water, you can see it actually goes up and down again. But it all looks supportive on these beams. I like its new look. And I'm very tempted to get carpenter's blocks and take these all back in a bit so it looks even thinner, less chunky, and a bit more like a bridge. I might even put collapsible blocks on this side, just tap them down a bit so they look. I'm giving hand signals now so it looks like it's got a bit of a curve that way, a bit of a camber to it. But we shall see. Did have a little bit of an explore. Nothing too major, just a bit of a wander about. Didn't find anything stunning if I remember rightly. Let's have a look. Uh, important chest. Glowstone books. That's ready for the thing. Did I find any another village? I can't remember now. I haven't got a map to show either. I may have. Did I find a village or did I bring them with me? Do you know? I haven't got a clue. Put in your food. We're not going hungry for a while, that is for sure. Despite me carrying very little food on me. Let's top up a bit. Let's take loads of bread. Soapstone. That's the name of this white stone. Soapstone. And in his texty pack. Looks really sweet. Let's grab that. Got to be dressed for the occasion. I'm going out in the woods. Well, I did have a bit of a think when I was over here making this little coffee pit. That looks really cool over there. At the time, I chopped down the spruce trees so they weren't in the way of the view, as it were. 
I'll chop them down again so they can get rid of the trees over here now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That one snuck up and got me. But this part here, if I come up onto it, looks the perfect place. Can I get on a tree? I can get on a tree for a watchtower. Imagine having a watchtower set there. So, an old medieval ruined watchtower sitting on here, maybe linking across with a bridge at the bottom. I think could be very good. A piece of scenery. Hmm. So you imagine the bridge coming out across there, but then it needs to go somewhere from there, and there isn't really a lot of land either side. With that on, I like about it's clear water. Opti finds clear water for the win. See, it may end up that I do. Whoop, here we go. Mountaineering for beginners. It may end up being that I do a high bridge from there across. Because that way I can get on to the edge of here, so, and, uh, well it doesn't go anywhere either, does it? This is kind of a, just an out jot of rock, isn't it? What have we got down here? Anything good? Apart from lack of breathable wet, whoa, we've got creepers. Thank you. Did I bring torches? Yeah. What have we got? Is it worth a little explore? It would be. Oh, there we go. I was going to say it would be if I brought a pick with me. Should be getting a load more of the soap stuff as well. Because <laughs> I'm going for it by the time at the moment. At least I know it's abundant, it's not in short supply, is it? There's always plenty to get elsewhere. Here comes the hound from hell. It's not an episode without me dog running in, is it? Here you go, go behave. Oh dear, you've been causing mischief somewhere. What's this one? Is it marble? Oh, chalk. Chalk. Mm, that could be fun. Take a bit of that. Just as I sample, right? Down there. 
have I got any wood on me? Yeah, that's good. Let's grab some coal for torches. Sort that out a bit as well. Grab some more for back at the base. For the base. <laughs> Been playing the tech mods too much. Back at the house. Oh, hey, yes, Gaddy. And you're grumbling for all of your friends sneaking up as well. You, I reckon, are down below. Top up on the iron. See what I am glad about. Is that not only is Arcus doing this, who is one of my favourite builders, he's just got, he just sits there, and he'll just build, and stuff he comes out with is phenomenal. Not only is he doing it, but you've got vintage beef doing it as well. Well, beef, don't be trying to kill me. Beef is one of these builders who will just sit and work at something and the finished product will amaze you. Arcus has got a natural flow to everything. Me, I just build it and rebuild it afterwards because <laughs> it failed. But, whoa, you got nasty. If you want me, you're going to have to come find me. from attack any yeah I see you then you can't shoot me now I can't eat you either but it's beside the point cool your armor up as well Breaks, Kelly. Blimey. Oh, more that way. Well, yeah, I didn't think that was going to last long. Don't really think I'll come down prepared for this. I've got no bow. <laughs> I've got a face full of arrows. And a lot of levels to lose when it all goes wrong. Go away. 
equipped with a notebook. Well, it wasn't my intention to do a caving ex expedition. So let me just grab a couple more bits of coal and we'll get out of it. Caving and commentary, commentary, sorry, don't always go together very easily. Especially when you get blooming skellies trying to, I'll get that lot another day. We'll have the bones. <coughs> Did I get bones for that? We'll grab the iron. It's always a use for iron. Even if it's just for cooking utensils. And we need cooking utensils. Because there's plenty of food in this. And we need to be cooking it. Let's go and see what we can do. Well, it was not down there because it's dark. It was up here somewhere. And hello, night time. Was it night time? It's looking at me. Don't be annoying. Yeah, it's night time as well. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Come on, up you go before I drown. No time, daytime. No time. Get it on. Uh, we were there. That's the outcrop of rock. So we need to go this way. I think that's still daytime. Sun might be getting low. I've turned the brightness level down on this at the moment. I think I'm either on. 60, 80 or even 50 because when I render it I've changed the format I render it to now which automatically brightens the video so I find it very hard to judge the daytimes because I'm playing it as I see it you'll see it slightly lightened to what I'm seeing it and it becomes very confusing while well, we're out and it's still daytime over here I want to put something and I was thinking of breaking out through the back of here and having like a big swimming pool in this area for my modern modernish underground eco-friendly house that blends totally into the environment you'll never know it's there apart from the big white walls Oh dear. Right, while we're, while we're back, let's de armor the armor. No, they should Oosh, put all the armor back on it. I'll just walk around with the arrows in my head. Oh. Blimey, what have we got? We've got 44 of them. They can cook. Got anything cooking in there? We got potatoes. See, I've got food coming up my ears. Cooked potatoes. Mob drops. Mob drops is that one. Arrow right, can go in there for now. Cobbles. Chalk. Soapstone, soapstone's already done, it's a cobble. Limestone's already dealt with. Limestone, this chalk, is this, what can we do with chalk, we ask ourselves. What does it give us? Can we do anything building wise with it? Just showing standard blocks, right? Mm. Let's try it 
from in the inventory. Gee. Oh, jump, there's nothing. I assume. I don't know. Apart from looking pretty snazzy. Make a good swimming pool. Which maybe it's used. So that can live in there for now. Soapstone. 63, soapstone 64. So I need to cook up some more soapstone. Ready for my next expansion. Of. So, as I was saying, over that way, I was thinking of like, like a bit of a medieval ruined castle, maybe, to contrast with the modern house and its swimming pool down there. This bit's going to be kind of rustic and farmy. This bit may be more structured for the modernist side of things. Don't really know. Over there, no idea what to do. Over there is going to be forests, because that is, quite simply put, my tree farms. Because I've got the oaks there. I'm going to spread the spruces down there and I may put some different ones in there when I get them I am getting a few if you bone meal grass you get the pans harvest trees in which are quite nice I've put a couple of them down for like a mini orchard this is nice and simple way simple pathing not sure about gravel. Tempted to change that out for something else, but I don't know what. It's kind of too stark. I might just go for a simple cobble down the side. That could look quite good. Because that always works well with the wood, and this is a, such a similar colour to the wood. I've got cobble on me now. All the night. Let's have a quick look and see how it looks. Soapstone, soapstone, normal cotton. Have I got an axe on me? Yep. But I need an axe when I'm picking up gravel. Sometimes my brain is. where this is quite, I wouldn't say harsh, oh I didn't need a shovel anyway, where this is quite a harsh colouring, that is just a tiny bit softer. thinking on it. Anyone has any ideas let us know in the comments because I'm thinking on it. I'll tell you what I do wish you could do though. You can make jack-o'-lanterns out of pumpkins. Wouldn't it be good if you could make them out of melons because you can then plant them in the grass and the green would sit much better in the orange of a pumpkin, it would look much more camouflaged. You'd barely notice it was there. Which I'd be tempted to do. But this needs something. 
not 100% sure what that. I have a funny idea that I may have to have a little bash on front of that. Um, what do I need? To start off, I need a few of these. Just Jeez. There's something about that bit that don't doesn't sit right with me at the moment. I'm not saying this is gonna That side of it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, it's not going to work, is it? So if I put that there and bash that side of it, it leaves that gap. Ooh. See what? And the other thing is, will that bit grass over? It would be nice if it did. So I'm not going to be able to do it there either. Because that will stick out one way or the other because you can't bash it twice. Right, let me lose that one. And rebash that one. Well, it was such a good idea till it didn't work. Mm. I imagine them being right because I was thinking of having these done as cobble. And if some brainy whiz ran down here. Did a bit of that stuff. Put one of them. Won't go on there, but it will go on there. It doesn't connect because it's carpenter's blocks. Hmm. So that would need to change out for. Which didn't swap in white. Sometimes I swear my keyboard stops working on me. Oop. Now, is that going to look any better? Or have I got to do a bit of rethinking? See, the good news is that green did go underneath there, but because of the nature of that, do you know? I don't know if I like that. I think I like the way there's a separate pillar, but I'm not sure if I like the wall. But, 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 I'm 
let's do it there either. Yes you can. Yes you can. You just gotta be a bit canny. Just have to be canny. That's all it is. Then you put them with them, put that where that was, put that there. Then go push that one out. Push no. that one in. That one in. That one in. 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 Out. 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 Dingo. Oof. Now, I know you can do that with these walls. But look at the difference. Hmm. Are these walls better? I mean, if that dirt wasn't behind them, it'd be a lot better for sure. I've got any bang, I mean, no. I'm going to stick with that for a moment, because there's only one high, see, it's not it's one and a half high that you would normally get. Let me grab a little bit of bone. Oh, B.O. I'm going... Come on, Bio. Oh, I won't put grass there because the half blocks sit there, don't they? Hmm. Oh, that was clever. Do you know, I think I'd like that more than I like that. But what if... I was... to do... that. Oh, that doesn't sit on the end, see? There'll be a lot of learning with these carpenters blocks. Seems such a sim simple thing to work with, but you'll end up bashing your brain with them, I tell you. But I do like them. The only reason that little bit of fence is there because I trod on the melon seed. And I haven't had a chance to replace it yet. Have I got a home? Yes. Deal with that now. See how the thing with axes take a wild chop for a melon, they breeze through pumpkins. One melon seed. Which will go there. X pumpkin destroys pumpkins. Should do the same to a metal. How much copper have I got? I mean, not enough. I wonder. I 
I can see me playing around with Carpenter's box for years and still never being satisfied with what I end up with. Uh, where's that ammo? Any meaning my remote that one. So it needs to go in, in. Yeah, I went, oh, come on, be a. <laughs> and of course, that typicalness, isn't it? Abject typicalness. No, get, uh, oh. Why am I making stuff difficult for myself? <laughs> It seemed like you just bashed that edge twice. You're all screaming at the screen. Even I'm screaming at the screen saying just bash that edge twice. And if I do that, oh, I don't know. I was with. Why? Why do you turn? <laughs> oh, now you're taking the pay in. Oh, I don't understand that. No, sorry. That doesn't make no sense to me. Soapstone. Where's normal cobble? Where's normal cobble? Because I want running it. There is. We have. Yeah, that's it. I was going to say there is a way of getting wood off of this. Shift and left click. All that I first mentioned about was me shift right click. <laughs> Gather up all my wood. Mm. It's very linear, isn't it? Very straight, absolutely straight lines. And if you had vertical slabs that you could bash with these collapsible blocks. That'll be worth a show. Right, I'm going to leave that for a minute. Because I think I prefer that. To the other. Let's just get the bone mill out. Don't need that there. Hmm. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Is that a thing or is that not a thing? Kind of adds colour to it. I know it's a grey colour, but it breaks up the greens and the browns a bit. And will it be too much cobble if I do these edges and cobble then? Hmm. Plenty to think on. Anyway, I'm going to call it there for today, simply because I've got a few other bits I need to record. And I could be spending all day just messing about with these blocks, which no doubt I will, and you'll see what happens next episode. <laughs> but until then, have a brilliant day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!